Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got this system of equations a cube minus b cube equals to 27 and a minus b equals to 9. And now we are going to find the value of a times b. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and let's focus on this very first equation a cube minus b cube equals to 27 and here I have copied it down as you can see and now let's recall this famous identity a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so let's go ahead and focus on the left hand side I can replace by this so I can write a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square equals to 27 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on this part over here 1 a b. 1 a b I can write as a minus 2 a b plus 3 a b. So therefore on the left hand side this could be written as a minus b times this is a square and here I wrote down minus 2ab plus 3ab plus b square equals to 27. And in this next step I wrote down this a square minus 2ab and plus b square together and I put this part right over here. And now let's focus on this part a square minus 2ab plus b square and we are going to use this famous identity. This could be written as equal to a minus b whole square. So therefore I can write this one a minus b and in this bracket this part I can write a minus b whole square and then plus 3ab equals to 27. And now from our this second equation a minus b equals to 9. So therefore wherever we see a minus b I'm going to replace this one by 9 and likewise this one I'm going to replace it by 9 as well. So therefore I can replace this one by 9 and then times this is 9 square plus 3 times a b equals to 27. So let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 9 times inside this bracket this is 9 square is 81 plus 3 times a b equals to 27. Let's go ahead and divide both side by 9 this side and this side by 9 this 9 and 9 is gone so we got 81 plus 3 times a b turns out to be 3 and now let's go ahead and subtract 81 from both sides this 81 negative 81 is gone so we ended up with 3 times a b on the left hand side equal to negative 78 let's divide both sides by 3 now so this 3 and 3 is gone so that means our a times b value turns out to be on the right hand side negative 26. So that's our a times b value turns out to be a negative 26 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.